In this next video, we're going to look at your portfolio screen, how to access your task list, and also how to access your progress reviews. So going from the main dashboard, we can see that there's a tab on the left-hand side called, called Portfolio. And if we click on Portfolio, that'll take us through to the Portfolio screen. And this is a really useful screen within OneFile because what you'll see here is you can see that you have your apprenticeship standard requirements listed by the modules of your professional qualification courses, as well as any additional learning in terms of functional skills and skills days. You'll also see that this measures your current progress and your target progress on the program. Now your target progress will be pre-populated by data that's completed by your skills and development coach. And that data will be based on the planner that you would have signed off on uh, when joining the apprenticeship program. And then as you submit development tasks to record the completion of attendance on skills days or your completing uh, exam results, so your current progress will be updated uh, to reflect the progress that's made. So this is a really good place to get an overview of how you're progressing on the program. Your skills and development coach will also have access to this screen for your profile and this will help them to identify if there's any risk of you falling behind your peers and therefore they can then get in touch with you and they can agree any steps that need to be taken to make sure that you're making progress and bringing yourself uh, back up to target alongside your peers. If we go below that particular section of the screen, we can also see some additional buttons that are useful. Uh, we have the development task button, which we've already uh, demonstrated, takes us through to the development task screen. We have the timesheet button here, which as we noted earlier, takes you through to the timesheet screen. Uh, and this is also where you would access your individual learning plan. So if you go into forms and then progress, you'll see that there's a button called ILP. And if you click on that ILP button, it'll take you through to the ILP screen. And if you click on current version, this will bring up the current version of your individual learning plan. Now in this particular example, uh, this hasn't been pre-populated with any specific data, but if this were your own individual learning plan, you'd be able to see the dates of the courses that you're scheduled to attend, as well as the dates of any exams uh, that you're due to set. If we go back to the profile, uh, uh, the portfolio screen, just a couple of other things I want to highlight. So if you have any outstanding development tasks that have been submitted to you by your coach, you'd see a note here indicating that there are outstanding tasks. Equally here on the left hand side, you can see that there's a task button. And in this instance, there is a number one highlighting that there is one task that is outstanding. And if you click on this particular button, it'll take you through to your list of outstanding tasks. And then you can click on that particular task and it'll launch that development task for you to be able to complete and submit it. Go back to the portfolio screen. You can also see that there's space here within your profile to add some additional documents. So if there's any uh, documents that you particularly want to attach to your profile on one file, this would be a place to store them. If you go into your profile, which we've shown you how to do before, you'll also notice at the bottom of my profile, you also have the same section here, which is called attachments, and you can manage documents and attach further documents uh, as appropriate to your one file. Now the likelihood is it's probably your development coach who's going to be submitting uh, documents uh, to your one file profile for you to review. Think of this as your own personal library of information relating to your particular program. So uh, it's a useful repository, I guess, for information uh, that your skills and development coach may wish you to read. Examples of documents that might be included in this section include your apprenticeship standard that you're working towards completing, as well as uh, a template that shows you how to complete a reflective statement. And it might also contain information on uh, what counts and doesn't count as off-the-job learning. So it's useful to make sure you keep an eye on your attachment section within your profile on a regular basis uh, in case your skills and development coach has added additional documents there for you to refer to.
but you can access them in one of two ways as I've demonstrated, either by going through your profile or scrolling to the bottom of your portfolio screen uh, where you'll find that section. Now let's look at your progress reviews. So as you know, you'll be completing a progress review with your skills and development coach uh, at least once every three months. And it's likely that your skills and development coach will send you a meeting request for your progress review. Uh, and then it will appear in your one file account in this section, which is headed at progress reviews. So if you click on progress reviews, it'll take us through to this, to this page here. And this page will show you uh, your list of progress reviews, both ones that have occurred in the past and ones that are already scheduled for the future. Now, as you can see in this particular example, uh, we have one progress review that's complete and one that's not started. And actually in this particular example, this progress review should have taken place on the 1st of March in 2019, which is showing as outstanding on your portfolio screen. But it's in this section that you would access uh, your progress review documents that will be completed by your skills and development coach once you have had your meeting. And it's here where you review the summary of the discussion that the skills and development coach has completed and then agree and sign it off. So that's a summary of the portfolio screen. It's a screen that's really, really useful and you're likely to be referring to it regularly. And if you're now happy with how to access this particular screen and how to use it, then please move on to the next video. Alternatively, if you have any questions about the portfolio screen in your OneFile account, please contact your skills and development coach. Thank you for watching.